No. Here we already have the Excel file open. Uh, we have our columns here, which are date of arrival, age of repairs, trailer number, company, work to be done, and our completion date. Um, this one right here is the today's date. This will automatically update every day that you change it. You don't have to do anything to it. You don't have to put in any values in it. So for an example, if we're looking for what to do, we can enter a trailer date of arrival. So we'll just pick something arbitrary. We'll say uh, November 27, 2014. And the age of repair, which is measured in days, will automatically calculate and give it a color, which we see as 12. Uh, the simple formula here is uh, G, G1 minus the uh, value of the date, which will basically give us the days. And then we can go ahead and calculate um, or just enter in the rest of the data um, that is pertinent that we might want to know. Um, and then from there we can use a filter if we would like to, to um, basically filter out any of the results that we are looking for. Uh, maybe we're looking for the completion dates, uh, uh, trailers that have not been completed quite yet. They'll, they won't have any completion, so we can filter that by color. And then you can go ahead and see here, we can look at all of our dates of things that aren't done. Um, obviously, the trailer repair that's on 59 days would be a concern, um, and so on and so forth. Or we can take a look at our trailers that have already been repaired. Um, just simply, again, filtering by color. And then we can close out our filters, we can exit, we can have no filter applied to it, and that'll give us the rest of our data back, that'll give us all of them. Uh, when you automatically enter a completion date, the date will, uh, or the filter will turn yellow. Uh, here we can see in this formula is automatically calculating. Um, if today's date automatically updates and changes, essentially the age of repairs will always change. So what we need to do is just have this be a regular number, a number that is stopped. Uh, so we're going to go to the, go ahead and go to the developer tag. We're going to go ahead and click on Visual Basic. Here's the code here that we're going to be using. Um, just go ahead and click on Run. It'll automatically run it. And if you notice, if you click back on the Excel sheet, you notice that 9, which was a formula, is now automatically updated to a number. Um, as you can see that for all the ones that have a completed date, if they don't have a completed date, they should still use their formula so that it is a constant update. And that basically summarizes it, and there you go. That's, that's all there is to the file.